so our football experts have put their thinking caps on and come up with the team they'd like Van Moor Wout to select for Australia's opening fixture with France, as well as who they found it hard to snub, and had to have him. Australia and France kicks off in Kazan at 8 p.m. est on Saturday. Matt Ryan, Josh Riston, Trent Sainsbury, Matthew German, Aziz Bahik, Aaron Mui, Massimo Luongo, Robbie Cruz, Tom Rogic, Matthew Leckie, Andrew Nabout first player picked and why? Aaron Mui, because I want Mui to feel he is the fulcrum of the team. His mental ability is so far ahead of many players, and his technique is superb, but sometimes it looks like he needs to feel loved. Hardest to leave out and why? Mark Milligan. If anyone deserves a run at this World Cup, it's a player with one appearance and up to his fourth campaign. But pure defending will be at a premium and German's marking is mobile and adhesive. Why this is the team to take on France? One of the most fascinating aspects of the past few weeks has been to watch Van Mar Wauk in full tournament mode. A teacher as well as a coach, he has quickly molded the team in his image. Now they have a fighting chance of staying in the game. Can we cause the upset of the opening round? Almost certainly not, but that's not the point. Losing to France is hardly a disgrace. But getting thumped by them would be, and would be terrible for the Australians' confidence. David Devut over Matt Ryan, Josh Riston, Trent Sainsbury, Mark Milligan, Aziz Bahik, Mild Jadinok, Aaron Mui, Matthew Leckie, Jackson Irvine, Robbie Cruz, Andrew Nabout first player picked and why? Trent Sainsbury. Emerged as the vital defensive cog during qualifying and a stint at Grasshoppers Zurich coupled with Bert van Marwijk handing him the captain's armband and the two friendlies could see him rise to the next level in what is his first World Cup. His poise and ball-playing ability make him a crucial offensive asset too. Hardest to leave out and why? Tom Rogic. But with Australia likely to have as little as 30% possession against a star-studded team, Irvine's industry and unpredictability Didier Deschamps and his players will know little about him could be the wild card which ruffles French feathers, before Rogic comes on in the last 20-30 minutes against a tiring Le Bleu defense. Source give images why this is the team to take on France? Bert van Marwijk is not one to tinker with his teams all that often. And the fact that he started with the same 11 for two games on the bounce indicates that was his preferred side for the France opener. However the impact of the substitutes in the second half against Hungary, headlined by Mild Jadinok and Jackson Irvine, gives him food for thought. Irvine offers a completely different option at number 10, and a fascinating one against France, while the choice between Mild Jadinok and Massimo Luongo also poses some intriguing selection dilemmas. Daniel Ertsani too made a sudden impact, scoring a goal and having a hand in the second, but Robbie Cruz's form in the friendlies and Ertsani's youth mean that he will again come off the bench of he features. Can we cause the upset of the opening round? Yes. The percentages are low, but it is possible, and that's why football is the most popular game in the world. Upsets are more probable than most other sports because of the degree of difficulty attached to hitting the back of the net. Hence the low-scoring nature of the game. Marco Monteverdi, Australia's best XI formation 4-2-3-1. Name your 11: Matt Ryan, Milos Dijenic, Trent Sainsbury, Mark Milligan, Aziz Bahik, Massimo Luongo, Aaron Mui, Matthew Leckie, Tom Rogic, Robbie Cruz, Domi Jerk. First player picked and why? Trent Sainsbury. The Socceroos will need to defend like their lives depend on it against the All-Star French lineup. Centre-back and potential skipper Sainsbury is easily Australia's best defender, with his poise, calmness and composure crucial to his team's hopes avoiding a disastrous result against Le Bleu. Hardest to leave out and why? Mild Jadinok. Australia's captain has for so long been the rock of the Socceroos midfield, but past performances can no longer get him in the team, particularly under a coach who has no emotional ties to him. The superior Massimo Luongo deserves a spot ahead of Jadinok in Australia's best 11. Why this is the team to take on France? It's a solid lineup, and there is also a touch of class that will be needed if the Socceroos are to have any chance to causing what would be a monumental upset. Milos Dijenic's superior defensive ability has him at right back ahead of Josh Riston. Massimo Luongo's work rate and energy, and the way he complements keeper Aaron Mui and Tom Rogic, 
is the reason why he should be chosen ahead of Mild Jadinok. It's a tough call up front, but for me the strong Tommy Jerk starts.